Claude just obliterated ChatGPT in the greatest AI showdown to date. We're talking $25,000 on the line and three tech giants going head to head. Okay, so Lovable just dropped this insane 25K content challenge over the weekend where they're literally going to pay people like you and me to pit the big three AI models against each other. Here's what happened when I gave all three the exact same prompt. Build an app that can serve as a writing companion and coach for creative writers working on full-length fiction novels. You know, a more intuitive scrivener, which is the go-to platform for novel writers. Round one. Check GPT, the crowd favorite. Open AI, you're up first. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. ChatGPT, I love you, but what is this, honey? Clearly, there's a formatting problem. Score, 2 out of 10, and that's me being generous. Round 2. Google Gemini, the dark horse. Google, show me what you've got. Okay, this is better. The interface, chapter focused approach, decent formatting. It's given functional, but boring. Like a Honda Civic, they'll get you there, but nobody's taking photos. Score, 5 out of 10. Respectable, but forgettable. Round 3. Lovable platform, the wild card. Now here's where things get interesting. How will Lovable perform on its own app? Okay, my eyes. My eyes are burning from this color scheme. Who approved bright yellow and white together? But wait, look at this functionality. Writing dashboard, progress tracking, character development tools, streak counters. This is actually impressive under that tragic design. Score, 8 out of 10. Two points docked purely for assault on my retinas. Final round. Lord, the silent assassin. Anthropic, it's your moment. Don't let me down. Hold up. Hold up. This is completely different. Look at this welcome screen. It's actually welcoming. Progress tracking, word count goals. But then, wait, is that a character profile generator? Plot arc analyzer. Writing exercises tailored to my story? Whoa. This isn't just an app. It's like having a writing mentor who actually read the assignments. And the winner is... Claude. With a stunning 9 out of 10. What does this mean for you? Unfortunately, the free build weekend is over, but if you subscribe, you'll be in the know next time something like this goes down and you can actually participate. So have you tried Lovable yet?